He's one of the richest and most famous yoga teachers on earth, the controversial founder of Bikram Yoga, a style of hot yoga that he claims can revolutionize your spiritual well-being, your health, even your sex life. But tonight, Bikram Chowdhury ordered to pay millions in damages in harassment lawsuit, and the woman standing to get these damages speaking out tonight. Here's ABC's David Wright. The jury is in, and as he left court in Los Angeles today, please don't bother me. Please. One of the most successful yoga gurus in the world is now in a hot mess. There's no rock and roll, everybody. In the yoga world, he's a rock star. Are you ready? Known by just one name, Bikram. Boom, there they are. Full name Bikram Chowdhury. His brand of hot yoga, 26 poses performed in 105 degree heat, synonymous with sweat. Also hugely popular. Today, Bikram is feeling the heat ordered by a Los Angeles jury to pay $6.4 million in punitive damages for sexual harassment, wrongful termination, and gender discrimination. That, on top of $924,000 in compensatory damages awarded just yesterday, more than $7 million awarded to one victim. I feel vindicated, I'm elated. Attorney Mickey Jaffa Bodden. My professional relationship ended when I was fired by Mr. Chowdhury. Jaffa Baden was general counsel to Bikram's Yoga College of India. She convinced the jury the 69-year-old yoga guru repeatedly sexually harassed her and subjected her to obscene comments about women. But she claimed she was fired after she started to investigate other women's allegations of sexual harassment and rape. Perhaps the first one or two surprised me, but after I began to see a pattern, they no longer surprised me, I'm sad to say. This is just one of half a dozen lawsuits against the flamboyant yoga guru whom Nightline first profiled in 2012. Someone can look him in the eye and say no, and it doesn't matter. Former students and employees claiming he sexually assaulted or harassed them. I felt speechless because this was my guru, and I thought of him as a father figure. Nightline spoke with three of the women in 2014. I said, please don't. You're a guru. The world believes in you. I said, nah, I'm just a man. I never lie, never cheat, I never hurt another spirit. I'm the most spiritual man, David, you ever met in your life. Back when we first interviewed Bikram, it was before any of these allegations had surfaced in court. But already, there were rumors of inappropriate contact with students. I asked him about them. The hardest problem in my life, David, is stay away from women. Women likes me. And I have to run city after city, country after country, all my life to stay away from the women. He denied ever having any sexual contact with his students and followers. That Every woman loves me. You know, president's daughter, you know, prime minister's daughter, you know, billionaire's daughter, superstar, actress, acting, singers. But yogi is supposed to be yogi. They cannot involve with the women. During the trial over Jaffa Baden's allegations, Bikram strongly denied sexually assaulting any of the women, just as he did in a taped deposition from one of the other lawsuits against him. The plaintiff's attorney asking him pointed questions. You have had sex with female trainees of yours, correct? Objection. Argumentative. Is that true, Mr. Chowdhury? No. Do you deny that? Yes. But one of his alleged victims later told me that the very room in his mansion where Bikram and I sat down for our interview is where he assaulted her. He raped you? Yes. There? Yes. In his own house? Yes. His wife sleeping upstairs? Correct. And his daughter sleeping upstairs? And his son. It didn't last very long. He didn't use protection. He stood up, put his shorts back on and went back into the other room, sat down on the couch like nothing happened. Authorities in Los Angeles have declined to press any criminal charges in any of the women's alleged claims. They're bringing civil suits on their own. Bikram's wife of 31 years, Rajashri Chowdhury, has since filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. Petra Stark, the former president of his company, has resigned too, filing her own lawsuit. At stake is a yoga empire potentially worth millions. 
Bikram was one of the pioneers of yoga in America, setting up shop in Beverly Hills back in the 1970s. His client list, a who's who of the rich and famous. This is Martin and me. Now his yoga studios are franchised worldwide, a booming business he's justifiably proud of. Why do you think Americans are so fascinated by yoga? It seems like everywhere you go there's a yoga studio. Because of me. He's not no, a humble no, man. No, no, we'll His we'll hobby, collecting cars. Beatles make two movies with this car. Back in 2012, he gave me a tour of his collection, Bentleys and Rolls Royces. But in court, Bikram testified that his legal problems have taken a serious toll on his finances, putting him on the brink of bankruptcy. He told the court his car collection now belongs to the state of California. He testified that he intended his collection to become a Bikram auto engineering school for children so kids could learn about cars. For Bikram's alleged victims, today's jury award is a victory, and the women we spoke with all will have their day in court later this year when their trials begin. What would you want to say to him now? I would just say that I... <laughs> I hope that he gets some help. Today in Los Angeles, this jury sending a powerful message. What I want from this, um, first and foremost, is that he's never able to do this to anyone else. And that um, anyone in this position who's being abused should feel strong enough to be able to come forward and speak out. And this was just one case in a growing list. I'm David Wright for Nightline in New York.